Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Monday, October 28th. Giving a shout out to Renee. Happy birthday, Renee. Hope you are doing well. Enjoy your day. Let's see what today's energy is going to be about for this Monday, October 28th. One card has fallen out, and too many. Here, I'll take that one. Maybe get one more card for here. They still all want to come out. I'll just take them. We'll see what they have to say. And we'll get one Halloween Oracle here. It's Halloween week. Too many, but one flew off to the side, so we'll take that one. All right. So for the tarot, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Fool card. And then we have these three cards here. All right, then we also have the Three of Swords, Heartache. We have the High Priestess, Angel of Power. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Comfort. And we have the Page of Cups, Friendship. And our oracle for today is Invisibility. It says Authenticity. All right, so today's energy, well, number one, we have two pages, and they're youthful energy. Um, they're coming with the Fool card, which is also another youthful energy going forward um, un, unsuspectedly, um, you know, thinking anything, you know, anything is possible. So there's this youthful energy coming forward and it's about trusting our path forward um, with, with this high priestess in this Nine of Pentacles that we will make it to where we need to be. There's this abundant energy that wants to come to us. Where we might be getting tripped up on is this Three of Swords. You know, there's a little bit of where do we, at what point, does does our lines get crossed with others with things that are no longer meant for us so there is an exit plan happening for uh, relationships right now partnerships um, what doesn't work in your life right now is certainly exiting and it could cause some emotional heartache um, some some crossing of the lines or there could be this time of you know some deep grief and loss that's occurring as we move into this new beginning this new adventure because again i cut i said we get two pages in the fool card we're going on this journey regardless and in the end we're gonna make new friends so if somebody is falling out of your life we're gonna have new people coming in it's a new energy you might even feel a little crossed by this page of swords with the gossip and that might be the person you want to cut out of your life right now. If they're creating some drama or if they're, they like to gossip and, you know, they're not serving a purpose for you except causing anxiety, maybe even rehashing things out, a source of depression. Um, you might just want to cut that person out right now. They're not serving you. So, and then be willing to go on this journey and let go of those things that keep you limited, the heartache, <clears throat> the loss, the grief. Those are all valid things to emotional, emotionally go through, <clears throat> excuse me, but it, it, it doesn't serve you to keep hanging on to those things. There's got to be a point where you go step back into your power, see the abundance, be grateful for what you currently have, and be willing to make new friends who see that same point of view. So you are well on your way to a brand new beginning, and this authenticity this is where you can start using this gauge of who's going to be in your life and who isn't. Who's, who's graduated from this old, stuck, dark energy and willing to move forward with a new perspective, a new vision, um, someone who wants a new life. Those are the people you kind of want to have that friendship with right now. So this Monday and going into this new Scorpio moon that's happening on Friday, uh, there's a lot of transitional time happening right now. 
we are in Scorpio season. It is about death and rebirth time. So we are in the midst of a rebirth. But we first we have to let go of those things that no longer serve us. All right, everybody. I hope you have an amazing day. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.